What's the hardest part about being a mom? <sighs> um, uh, uh, separate and equal time with all children. Just like her character in Sex and the City, the real Carrie Bradshaw, aka Sarah Jessica Parker, is a true New Yorker at heart. If you've ever wondered, SJP's home in reality is much more spacious than Carrie's, and while she usually keeps her home life private, she gave fans a sneak peek of her Manhattan about a few years back. The Sex and the City star lives in this townhouse with her husband, actor Matthew Broderick, and their three children, but it was reported they're quietly selling it. Since 2016, the showbiz veteran couple has been constructing a mega mansion in the same neighborhood made up of two townhouses, which is likely where they're upgrading to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Sarah Jessica Parker is an actress, producer, and designer who's best known for her role as Carrie Bradshaw on Sex and the City, which is a series I love and have actually been rewatching lately. She won two Emmys, four Golden Globes, and more just for this role. Her character was widely popular during the airing of the series, and later was recognized as one of the greatest female characters in TV. Parker got her start in Broadway at the young age of 11, starring in The Innocence and Annie, while also landing many film roles throughout her career. Most recently, she starred in the HBO series Divorce from 2016 to 2019, and even runs her own production company, Pretty Matches. Her husband, Matthew Broderick, is an actor and singer in his own right, and best known for Ferris Bueller's Day Off, while starring in other movies and musical productions over the years. The couple has been married since 1997 and together have amassed an estimated $200 million net worth, allowing them to invest some of the nicest and priciest New York City real estate. The Broderick Parkers have been living in their West Village townhouse since 2000, but in the meantime also combining two townhouses nearby they bought in 2016, which will result in their own mega mansion. It's not clear whether the project is finished or not. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're noticing a lot of copycat channels popping up, but we're the original house tour connoisseurs and 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today, we're taking a look at where Sarah Jessica Parker calls home with her hubby Matthew Broderick and their three kids. We'll check out their previous townhouse they flipped and sold in Greenwich Village, their current townhouse, and the 13,000 plus Manhattan mansion they have in the works. We've also done house tours on couples like Cameron Diaz and Benji Madden and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. In 2012, it was reported that SJP and her hubby listed the home they own in Greenwich Village area of New York City for a hopeful $25 million. But after not selling, they had to relist it again in 2014 while lowering the price. The couple snatched up the 25 foot wide townhouse in 2011 for almost $19 million and completed a laundry list of structural renovations on the place. It's a sleek and charming space located in one of Manhattan's most recognized neighborhoods, but you might be surprised to know that Park Parker and Broderick never actually occupied the home. They purchased it with the intent to flip it, and the property supposedly doubled as a clothing storage for the fashion obsessed actress. Must be the most expensive closet of all time. The pair renovated the home top to bottom quite beautifully, and the Greek Revival style residence features 6,800 square feet of living space with five beds, five full baths, and three half baths. The recently refreshed red brick home was originally built in 1846 and stands four floors above ground with two below. A classic raised stoop entrance, much like Carrie Bradshaw had, leads to a narrow entryway and stair hall with gray flagstone floors and nearby, there's a formal dining room that looks out over the street. One of the seven fireplaces throughout the home is located in this dining room while another occupies the 31 foot long formal living room with original mantelpiece, wet bar, and direct access to the private garden. The garden level kitchen features a large island, marble covered fireplace wall, and only the best stainless steel appliances, not to mention a sunlit breakfast room. On this floor, you'll also find a handy service entrance and a guest or staff room with private ensuite. There are three guest rooms on the third floor, while the master suite spreads luxuriously across the fourth floor. It boasts an oversized bath with hand carved stone tub, a pair of dressing rooms, and a private terrace overlooking the garden. Fun fact the home was reportedly staged with pieces from Ms. Park actual wardrobe. The topmost floor of the townhouse consists of a massive hangout space with two large skylights, entertainment system, and 
25 foot long stretch of bookshelves. At the other end of this floor, there's a small office and bathroom. After looking at photos of the home, it's understandable why it was priced so highly. With incredible modern interiors, expansive living spaces, an outdoor garden, and more, it was totally an NYC dream house. Unfortunately, in the end, the Broderick Parkers had to sell the home for $18.25 million at a nearly three quarter million dollar loss, not even counting how much they spent on flipping the place. Back in April 2000, Sarah and Matthew bought a West Village townhouse for just over $2.9 million. It was reported earlier this year that the married couple quietly put the home on the market for about $19 million, and it's available via pocket listing. They've been living here while working on combining two townhouses nearby they bought in 2016 that will result in their very own mega mansion, but we'll look at that in a bit. They've also invested millions to gut and renovate their current longtime townhouse for themselves, and previously it had just a few owners since it was built in 1905. While there are no listing photos to look at in 2014, Parker did invite Vogue inside this home as part of the magazine's first ever installment of 73 Questions. In the video, we can catch a glimpse of the ground floor and see that her home offers archways between rooms, crown moldings, fireplaces, and a mix of colorful decor and elegance. Beyond the oversized front doors, the entryway has old world charm with dark wood trim and modern elements like the staircase's carpeting. In this family room, the walls are a cheery green color, while built-in bookshelves line two of the walls, and the actress is all about a good book. There's also a chic fireplace in this room and elsewhere a bar. A sunlit space with floor-to-ceiling windows near the family room is used for games with a giant ping pong table, while the formal dining room has a piano. More recently, thanks to an Instagram post, we saw that Sarah has a bright yellow dining table she was doing laundry on. Clearly, the family loves a pop of color. In this study, the award-winning actress has her golden globes on display, and even though she's a Manhattan girl at heart, we can tell she loves to see and travel the world. In this video, we also get a glimpse of Mr. Broderick's baseball collection since he's an avid fan of the sport. So as I mentioned, in 2016, the Broderick Parkers purchased a new dwelling in the same hood as the place we just looked at for about $34.5 million. The pricey purchase got the pair an upgraded living situation in the form of two side-by-side -side townhouses on a prime tree-lined block in the fancy West Village. The only photos we have of this property are back from the time of purchase, where you can get a sense of the interiors, the high ceilings in most spaces, and the work that would have needed to be done. The actress and her hubby got started on the home just a year after purchase, constructing two units into a sprawling 13,900 square foot mega mansion. While this dream home technically has two addresses, it's one large building, and it's being designed by Morris Ajmi Architects. It's not clear if the project is finished yet or not. The building was owned since the 1920s by the United Methodist Women nonprofit organization, and it's just steps away from a famous Magnolia bakery in a prime location. While Sarah and Matthew already spent a fortune on the property, it's assumed they spent millions more upgrading and combining the townhouses to seamlessly blend. Clearly, this is where they're getting ready to move into. The only other details we know about the new estate is that it offers 50 feet of street frontage and an additional 2,100 square feet of private outdoor space. So now we've taken a look at Sarah Jessica Parker and where she calls home with her longtime husband, Matthew Broderick, and their kids. Clearly, just like her famed character Carrie Bradshaw, the actress also adores her home in New York City. While the couple has purchased up a few multi-million dollar properties, they never stray too far. In addition to their West Village mansion that's in the works and their current townhouse, it's said that the Broderick Parkers also own two modestly sized neighboring homes in the Hamptons. After looking at the three city properties Sarah calls home, which was your fave? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. As for the new spot, I think we'll have to wait to see more once the giant renovations are done. I have a feeling it will be soon if they haven't moved in already. I'm also trying to get to 1,000 subs on my personal channel, so I'd love it if you guys like and subscribe. And if you want to see our brand new studio tour where I film all of these, I will link you my latest vid. If you watch Michael's videos and before they were famous, and we were talking about this with his family the other day, how you're so animated. He's so like loud and like boom. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know which celebrity houses you want to see next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.